I don't need to do that. It's all good. Made it. <laughs> Wondered why the hell that came out out of the blue, but it makes sense because he just killed a gobbler, which are nothing but an eyeball. I don't really care about my style points. No, it's it's awesome to just kill stuff in one strike. Oh, which I can do now. Yeah. Very good, we did it. We made it! Are they all dead? Actually, the... Oh. They aren't dead. But it is on fire. Oh. It's just the fact that this hasn't been moved. Which would, you'd think, would show that it's not been accessed. Though I guess that's not the case. Oh. As the last raven fell, Bernardo felt worse than he ever had. The core was killing him. Again. How was it killing him when he doesn't even know where it is? Came out into what? The smoke. You saved us, croaked the speaker. They would put the weaponized core deep in a cavern, she promised, where his poison could harm no one. They would heal him if they could, she said. No, he's a weapon now. We need one. I'll lead the charge. It will kill you, croaked the speaker. I guess it already has, Renato said. Hmm. She bobbed her head gravely. When all this is over, she said, we'll name our new capital city for you. He flew towards the Imperial fleet, a myriad ships in disciplined formation, waiting for the signal to destroy the rebellion forever. Behind him, the rebels were charging. If he failed, they would die. And so the final battle began. Uh. So the car was there at the rebel base. The Imperials must have took it with them, I'm guessing. Hurt. A capital it idea. Oh! This way. It's got the gem on it again. He struck with his sword. He felt weaker. Yet each time the core fired, it got brighter. As if the heat for the burning. Oh great, I'm dying again. Fuck. Hunger. He wondered where Lapino was. Wasn't he supposed to be in the battle? No. He'd been captured, hadn't he? Oh, now his mind was smoking and burning the He hoped it wouldn't take long. Well, there we go. Well, you like having a goblet for a pet. Might want to switch back to my hero sword so I can heal myself. Every now and again, guess I'll probably need it. Yeah, with the bloody cock constantly killing me. I mean, Ronaldo, when he stood still, just looks ill. Yeah, like, really ill. Nice. Alright, I think we have to fight more stuff on here. Wait, I should use the Void Blade. Whoosh! Actually, the Void Blade is quite crap. <laughs> With its special power. All it really does is allow you to attack faster. At least with Fa Flamebrand and Winterthorn. I have no idea what the narrator is saying. If they were going to name a capital oh. city after him, well, he just wished he had a better name. Okay. Lupino. Yeah, he missed Lupino's bitter outbursts. Or did he? Lupino had gotten him into this mess, hadn't he? Yeah, he had. Fuck. But he would die every inch a hero. Ooh. Spectacularly, changing history like the legendary heroes of lore. Or your. was it your? It was your. He couldn't remember anymore. <laughs> legendary heroes of lore. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, my. I'm still surprised that we have the car. Like, why was the car at the Rebel Base? Was that to say that the Ravens took it there or that Lupino did? 
but he took it to the observatory, so I don't know, I'm just confused. On the plus side, having the car is quite a nice ally for this battle. Even if it is going to kill us. Oh, there we go. All dead. Woo! Oh, there we go. Nice. We got some health. There's the Emperor. Renardo fell to his knees. The Emperor's bodyguards were lined up before his ship. Fierce ravens, all. And Zenobia. Oh, fantastic. He could not take another step. All he could do was fire the core. The ravens. Zenobia, oh, fuck. The ship all burst into flames, disintegrated. This happened already, did it not? So they had one, after all. The core grew brighter. Ah, oh, there we go. He shielded his eyes, but he could still see it through his sleeves and through the flesh of his arm. Oh, God. And then he felt heat as the fire grew to consume both fleets. And then he felt nothing. He died. Great. Oh, again? <laughs> again? But he already had all the secrets he needed. He was sure of that. <laughs> he must have not used them the right way. Ah, what was the best, worst mistake he could make? So, Renardopolis. Probably what kind of hero are you? Lepino. A hero who goes down in a blaze of glory. Um, trying to think whether I should do one more story and then end the session or end it now. I'm not sure. Hmm, I can do one more. Solid. it. The book's pages fluttered to the beginning once again. This is where things go different. We don't go after Lepino. And he fell. The clouds parted over the, the Isles of Boreas. Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens are scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. <clears throat> also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lepino needed rescuing. Of course. Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lepino had betrayed the rebellion. And he had a gut feeling that he needed to use that to his advantage. No ho! Right, so... Sky Ripper. An ancient artifact that defeated the Lost Gods would indeed be a game changer, though it was split into two pieces many years ago. Renato could rebuild it by first getting its armature. Let's do this. Every child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Ooh, this will be different dialogue. Had I the think. Pieces deep. And then this Emperor's horrific sacrifices had brought it back to the surface. Renato wasn't exactly sure how to use the legendary weapon. But surely there must be some way to do it without provoking another catastrophe. Had he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renato could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. Hmm. Damn right he would. Why is that? As he set foot in the oh. island, oh, yeah. Renato couldn't... I remember this. Emperor season. Was the Pino still waiting to be rescued? Doubt it. He was probably drinking champagne with the ravens. Did ravens drink champagne? <laughs> Did rabbits? rabbits? Renato felt oddly thirsty. <laughs> Why had he chosen the sky? Oh, God. Renato never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. The people who oh my God. this castle. I'm just zooming through. Didn't know what monstrous weapon lay hidden within their walls. The Sky Ripper could destroy anything it touched. Or so the legend said. As the Transcendent Emperor had fought the Lost Gods, thousands of thousands had died. But Renato had been through wars. The only merciful war was a short one. Oh damn, look at all these ravens. Oh 
Oh now I can kill all of them. Boom. Oh yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I must be going too fast for it to be like skipping over the dialogue. Oh fuck. Bad. I freaked him out to cut them. Oh dear. That was really weird. Oh my god. Oh, I'm just really fucking it up. They take off 50 if they see you, which is really shit. Oh, these don't give you energy back. Well, maybe they do. No, they don't. Well, that kind of sucks. It's fine, though. I am getting the energy back. Whoops. I prefer killing them with, like, an execution, not kicking them off a cliff. Oh, there is one more. Yeah, whatever. There they go! Uh, oh yeah, it's puzzle time. The hardest puzzle ever. Oh. Wait. Oh! I'm an idiot. Jesus. I ain't done it in a while, so I've forgotten how it worked. But there you go. I think you only have to Chuckled. press one of the switches, the not each switch, one time. He wished he had his friends here, so he could amaze them. And there's the armature. Boom. Oops. Oh, there we go. We did it. Sky Ripper's Easy enough. The stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers' dreams, anyway. The device was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. How was it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist, but first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart, a core that had come to rest on the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. There we are. Find the car. He needed to get the car of the Sky Ripper, obviously. Renato has found the armature of the Sky Ripper. Without the car, it would just be an empty and useless shell. The only reason one would seek the armature was to build the legendary weapon that had once banished the Lost Gods. Obviously, Renato should get the car. I agree. Sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. And the armature was useless by itself, only a series of coils and wheels. War demanded sacrifices, and he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good no matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well, he would see her sooner or later, across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. Hmm. But of course. Like after, I remember doing, like, I think this was one of the first stories I he did. The was finding the armature, around. finding the core. They were so big and so old. They'd been there before he was born. And they'd be there after he'd passed into legend. Was he confronting his own unimportance? What had got him to him? He was no philosopher. Anyway, who cares? He was plenty important. He was a hero. And soon he'd prove it. Hmm. Yeah, with the armature. No, not the armature, with the Sky Ripper. Could not remember the name of the bloody thing. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. And ravens! Oh wow, I didn't even fucking throw them the right way. Oops. That's what I'm after. Oh, there we go. Now they're all ready to die. So I need 6,000 to level up. I think I sh I'll probably get that before the end of this story. There are only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest. The mice and rabbits. And he was getting hungry too. Fuck. This was an unhealthy place to be. 
Oh, come on. I was going to say, I'm certain I held X to grab it. So what the heck happened? Owned! Yeah, I definitely will get a level up by the end of this story. Boom! Car got. The twenty-sided core made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark art, and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there. That's what the stagnant air was. Uh, as quick as he could, he it was the poison. The heat and into the armature, the wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. Hmm, maybe Lapino wasn't such a good friend. Yeah, that made him feel better. He carried yeah. his prize back to the Farfarer. Now, he had to make his next move. There was a key Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so seek help from the scientists. Sky Ripper was complete. The super weapon could put an end to the Emperor's madness, but had Renard Renardo assembled it correctly, would it work at the critical moment? The scientists on the Nexus would surely give answers. Well, of course. If you've just assembled a weapon out of legend that can exile gods from the world, you'd want to have a scientist or two look at it. And even if they disagreed and he had time, he could ask Calaveras himself. Yes, hmm. the observatory would be his objective. But of course, yes. Alright, I'm not entirely sure how much is going to be left of this story. There's three more chapters, but each of them are very short. Can be very short. All really depends. Why had the part of the Cautious Fox. Only surface now? Thousands of years after the transcendent emperor had dismantled it. Hmm. The mad emperor Isengrim had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the lost gods. Was that why these ancient artifacts were rising out of the ground? How perfect then that the Sky Ripper would reappear to be his destruction. And hopefully this time, just his destruction. <laughs> yep, let's hope. I'm probably going to finish the game two days, to be honest. Not in this session, but I'll probably just say sod it and record it later. Just because then it's done, and I'm really kind of curious as to how the game does end. Okay. Oh, right, I don't even need to grab them. I didn't realise. Whoops. I didn't want to go over here. I do that every fucking time. The legendary weapon was exactly ah. what the rebellion needed. They were outnumbered. The once kind emperor had become a tyrant. But his ravens stayed loyal, for he fed them his victims, and the other animals were too frightened to rebel. Mm. Renato shuddered at what the emperor was trying to do. To bring back the lost gods, the black harvest, the black sun? No. He would stop that toad, no matter what the risk. Okay. Is he on about- he can't be on about the current emperor. Fuck me. It just doesn't sound like it. I just don't think the current emperor's been doing, like, blood rituals. Oh, no. Blood sacrifices. There we go. We're safe. Wow. Or not. So looks like the firewalls still managed to get through. Oh dear. Actually, I don't need that. Ah! Yeah! Oh god, Jesus. They all attacked at once. Oh, there's still the Wraith. Crap. And I keep forgetting that my dash is knocking them down. Ooh. 910 XP. I've definitely gotten a level at the very least. So that's cool. I don't know if any more of the stories will reward with a level. So where are the scientists? 
They're not dead! Woo! There's a first. 90% of the time we come here, you just see toads everywhere. Like, sprue... Sprawled out across the floor. Uh, not this time. They're alive. Renato was thrilled. The scientists seemed to think he'd put the Sky Ripper together right. But one toad was worried. Yeah, either the Sky Ripper could tear a hole in existence itself. There are invisible strings that tie the universe together. If the Sky Ripper yeah. came, the hole would widen and widen until our whole existence uh, fell into it. Another toad sighed. Uh, Irving still believes in string theory. <laughs> At least go see Calaveras. Hmm, yeah, said the worried toad. He knows more than anyone else has forgotten about the Transcendent Emperor. If anyone could tell him how to use this weapon safely, it would be Calaveras. It was he who had told Renato how to find it in the first place. But maybe he had to give up on using it as a weapon. Maybe he had to go to the secret rebel base and ask the generals there what he could do with a weapon that he dared not use. One way or another, there had to be a safe way to use it. Hmm. Calaveras! He would know. So, the Sky Ripper could destroy existence itself. If there was the slightest chance that was true, Calaveras, the High Sage, was the final authority in legendary artifacts. If anyone could dispel Renato's doubts, it would be him. Well, he should have known he'd have to consult Calaveras again. The scientists at the observatory were smart enough. But what did they know of the Transcendent Emperor? He hoped it wouldn't delay him too long. The Rebels had scheduled the final battle soon. Every day they delayed risked the exposure of the secret base. And some soldiers were already drifting back to their homes and families. Calaveras would fix the Sky Ripper for him. And then he would win the final battle. Hmm. Where's that? Mm, yes. I still like that dialogue. He still believes in string theory. But after a few steps, Renato's optimism started to slump. What if Calaveras couldn't help? Did Renato dare use the Sky Ripper? Oh, he hated that he'd chosen this path. It was so much simpler to rescue friends and attack enemies. Even if what? some of those friends were more trouble than his enemies, some of those enemies had been friends before and might be lovers after. No, no, it wasn't all that much simpler. No. Physics made his brain hurt. That, at least he was sure of. <laughs> yeah, it's a very messed up situation. He's got someone who was very close to, who's now an enemy. He's got someone who he was also a pretty close friend with, that is now a traitor. Ah, Renato just can't catch a break. So it would appear. Just sucks. Sucks to be Renato. Poor guy. Oh wow, there's a lot. No, you don't. Yeah, get rid of the wraiths. I don't know what they're known as. I don't think they are the wraiths. But well, whatever. He tried to focus on the now. The ravens who seemed everywhere all the time. Where did they hatch from? Were there giant raven hatcheries somewhere? Or did they have families? He didn't want to think about raven mummies raising their darling raven chicks. Calaveras would help. He would make Renato feel better about using the Sky Ripper. And then Renato wouldn't have to worry about ravens ever again. Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right. Right, just go down here. I don't need to worry about that chest. I've already... <laughs> I've dealt with that multiple times. You go near it, enemies spawn and they want to kick your ass. Standard, really. Did I kill that one on the floor? I didn't. Whoops. Maybe. No, you don't. Oh! Oh! Whoa. I do like the fact I can just attack from anywhere. Tears pretty nice. Ah, oh, that's all of them. Booyah! 24,000 away. Whoops. I don't know how close to the end of this place we are. I think we're nearly there. We've still got to get past the... I don't exactly know what it is. It's not exactly a trap, but there's a lever you've got to activate to get rid of some icicles. I think that's what we're approaching now. Pretty... yeah, it is. 
We go over here. It's just at the end of all these hooks. Essentially. Kaboom! Ah, oh, come on. If only you could upgrade your reach. Oh god. That was almost terrible. Ah, oh, crap. I did put that back up. Oh well. Hmm, I kind of hope so too. Otherwise, this is going to end real bad. Alright, we made it. Oh, level up. Shit, level up. Ooh, what do I want? What do I want? I think I'm going to go with that again. Increase my distance. Yeah, sure. Calaveras, help! Had never let him down. Except this time. I can make it work better. But when Renardo explained about the strings, Calaveras grew thoughtful. Oh, strings, you say? Well, the Arcana do speak of the ties that bind the world. He drew many intricate symbols in the dirt. Yeah, so, um, according to my calculations, uh, each time you fire, I'm afraid there's a 1 in 120 chance you'll destroy the universe. That's pretty good odds. That's like rolling, what, 21 dice and they all come up six. What are the odds of that? What? No! It's more like 2.716 is in a row. Anyway, with those odds, it won't happen if I use it just once. Bernardo said, although he wasn't sure that was entirely right. Yeah, no, no, that's... No, no, that, that, that's not right. Each time you use it... Okay, look, just don't use it ever. All right, I yeah. guess. As he sailed towards the fleet, Renato could see the dropships of the rebels coming out of the clouds. This was it. The big battle. They could not afford to lose this one. What if it didn't go well? What if he had to use the Sky Ripper? Could he risk the entire universe in the throw of a dice? Yes. If you die, it'll just reset you. It's fine. 2.71. Sixes in a row. He had a feeling they were surprisingly good. That is bad. Anyway, the odds were big. <laughs> His brain was hurting again. So technically, if he fired it 128 times, in a row or whatever, at least one of those shots would end the world. The Fun. Was not going spectacularly Chapter 5, well. no other choice. What have the rebels been thinking? They'd been thinking he would bring the Sky Ripper. Or the Iblis Stone. Or that he'd sideline Zenobia somehow. Or turn her. Couldn't he use the Sky Ripper just once? After all, if chances were 1 in 128, that meant he'd for sure be okay the first time. They'd get worse each time he used it, but the first time would be okay, right? He wasn't sure that it was right. So he didn't fire the Sky Ripper. He just brought it along in case. Oh. I'm gonna say the Skyrim is not actually helping. Interesting. I thought it would have actually, you know, just destroyed or attacked anything it came across, but no, it doesn't. For once, it's like one of the only stories where the Skyrim isn't helping. It's quite a surprise, really. I don't mind because the combat's, you know, or the fights are pretty damn easy anyway. Oh, there's one more. Whoops. <laughs> Off he goes. I think all I'll do is finish the story, or this story, read all the stories I've gotten, and then that can be the session. Oh. Yeah, just so then I don't forget. Because I like to read the summaries. It's just fun to do. On the other hand, 128 chances to win, but one of them would destroy the universe. Hmm. That seemed a bit serious. A bit. Maybe he could defeat the Emperor without firing the Sky Ripper. Maybe he could bluff, but with a real weapon. Like in cards, when you had three knaves, but you pretended you had a Fizzbin. What? That could work. Fucking are nods and Fizzbins. Do all rings go great? Okay. Oh, Christ. I'm trying to understand that joke. <laughs> the Grey Raven? 
As soon as I heard that, I was like, uh, Oblivion? That's the Grey Fox. Oh god. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what that reference is. This game's got, it's filled with references to other games. And also just internet memes and all sorts. It's pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> just hearing them being quoted. It also has a reference to a really, really old song from Bananarama. I don't actually know what the song... I think the song's just called Na 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 Na. Was it Hey Hey Hey? I can't remember. But no, I heard that quote from Ronaldo uh, on the day when I'd actually recently heard that song. Like, on the radio or... It, I don't think it was the radio. I can't remember what it was. It was one of the music channels that was being listened to. Whoop. We did it. End of the story. This story. There he is. What's with the big ass brutes anyway? We've not fought them once. Zenobia came out, flanked by a very daunting platoon of ravens. Oh god. Actually use that. She said in that annoying, I know everything because I'm a cat and you know nothing because you're just a fox voice she had. <laughs> Good. Because there's a real chance you could destroy the universe. No, not the first time I use it. The odds are too low. What? No? Yeah, sure. The first time, the odds are practically nothing. They only go up if I use it a bunch more times. No, but that's not how odds work. Didn't you pay attention in class? Now surrender, or I'll use it just once, he said. Don't. He felt sure the odds were with him. You have to go with his gut. That's what heroes do. Fire, he said. Please? The Sky River fired. With a tremendous whoosh, the Emperor's flagship went up in flames. It was awesome. And then he noticed... A black hole! Oh, hole <laughs> no. A blackness, like a tear in a parchment. Wind was blowing into it, widening it. It grew larger, and even larger. Crates fell upwards into it, and the world itself seemed bent like the reflection on a curved mirror as it poured into the ravenous hole. Well, One in a hundred and twenty-eight. What are the odds? Thought Renardo, and then everything fell into the hole and was gone. <laughs> what are the odds? Oh, Higher than you'd again? think. Again? But he already had all the secrets he there we needed. go. So, sure of that. the Sky he Rover's Guide to the, the Galaxy. Way. Oh, wow. <laughs> what was the best, worst mistake you could make? A hero who is willing to risk space, time, the universe, and everything if the odds are in his favor. Well, wait a minute, this one ended the same way as that one. Kind of. Well, it's the same sort of picture. Either way. So, the fox whose knees hurt. The Sky Ripper was a legendary weapon that could banish the gods themselves. It was split into two pieces, a core and its armature. Renardo had lost the armature to save a friend, but he had the core. A naked core. Pulsating with energy, bleeding an unhealthy poison, slowly killing, it, killing anyone who would carry it. So began a race against time to turn the car into a weapon. The road was fraught with bad luck and Renardo was forced to visit a hermit, a retired scholar who had very little chance to save the day, but the scholar knew exactly what to do. Just like that, Renardo had a super weapon. But as rebels and empire fought in the final battle, a giant blast incinerated the entire battlefield. And at the center of the blast, Renardo and his super weapon. Oops. A bucket of death. The Skyrip was a legendary weapon that could banish the gods themselves. Split in two pieces, a car and its armature. Renardo had lost the armature to save a friend, but he had the car, a naked car. Pulsating with energy, bleeding an health unhealthy poison, slowly killing anyone who would carry it. So began a race against time to turn the car into a weapon, the robot was fraught with bad luck, and Renardo had barely the strength to take the car to the rebel engineers. The jury rigged the car into a dirty bomb, just powerful enough to kill everyone in the Emperor's ship. Renardo, greatly weakened by the car's poisoning, Carried his mission with success. The Emperor died, so did Renato, all the Imperials, and all the Rebels present in the battlefield. Engineers. So, Renatoopolis. So the Skyrim was a legendary weapon that could banish the gods themselves. It had split into two pieces. Car and armature. Renato had lost the armature to save his friend Lupino, but he had the car, a naked car pulsating, with energy waiting to be turned into a weapon. Renato was driven by a practical decision. When Lupino begged to carry the car, he agreed to make best use of his friend. And when Lapino was captured, he left the rabbit to his fate so he would save the rebel base. 
When he recovered the car from the Imperials, which they turned into a deadly weapon, he seized the opportunity to lead an assault on the enemy. But the Imperials tinkering could not tame the car, it grew unstable and scorched the battlefield. Finally, the Skyrover's Guide to the Galaxy. The Skyrover had the legendary weapon that had banished the gods themselves. Renato had as assembled the super weapon, but even a hothead like him knew he should deal carefully with such an ancient and powerful artifact. So he consulted with the experts who warned him that the weapon could destroy the fa very fabric of space and time. It was a question of prob uh, probability. One chance in 128 to destroy the universe. Well, for Renato, it meant 127 chances to destroy the Empire. He liked those odds, so he fired the Sky Ripper once, just once, a hole in the space in space-time ripped open and swallowed the entire universe. Boo! Um. Pretty bad. By the way, we only have three more stories to uncover, and then after that, I can actually do the true ending, which I'm very excited to see how that plays out. It's going to result in the death of Lupino, which is a bit of a shame, but at least I think it is. I don't know, but we'll find out. Either way, that's going to be the end of this session. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and until next time, take care.